Hey there folks and welcome back for another shaving video and today we bring to you Soap Commander Honor. And this is a beautiful, beautiful barbershop scent. Quite simply, if you love barbershop scents, this is a scent you're going to want. Now I haven't used it yet, but I got to tell you, the scent is beautiful. It's just, it's sort of in the same vicinity as Mike's or uh, Fine um, American Blend or whatever the name of that is, I can't recall. Just beautiful, beautiful scent. Oh, I love it. Scent strength is about, I'd say a six, uh, just slightly over uh, medium. We're going to use this today. Um, I'm going to actually use a sample of Honor that was sent to me by Justin Bailey rather than uh, using my own. Might as well use the sample up first. So that's what we're going to do. And then, of course, we'll use the, um, the tub once we finish our sample down the road. Uh, boy, this is a beautiful barbershop scent. I love barbershop scents. And this runs right there with the best of them. You know, Maggard, London Barbershop, um, Fine American Blend, uh, Razor Rock even has uh, American Barbershop, uh, Mike's Barbershop. There are others I'm forgetting, but this is a beautiful, beautiful scent. And, um, you know, I never have any quality problems with uh, soap commander soap so I expect this um, shave to go wonderfully and uh, so it looks like we've got a, a good load here so uh, let's get going let me rinse the face we'll come right back oh yeah I forgot it's been a few days and <laughs> show, show this double because there are uh, people who will come by and go oh, I don't even know that you're shaving anything yes I am I am I am um, we're also going to show you the uh, Bud the Tie SE2 again today before I send it back to um, Stan. So you'll get your get a look at that. And I have enjoyed using it. It's hard for me to compare it to the uh, SE1, but I enjoy both. It's very, very nice. So thank you, Stan, for letting me try that. and show it to everyone. Like I said, as far as I know, that's the first uh, open comb, single edge razor, uh, artist club style singer, single edge razor of its type. So if you're a big fan of open comb, you may want to check it out. All right. The sub commander is wonderful stuff. And uh, I'm happy to see uh, via the Cybert's Facebook page that Luke appears to be doing well. You remember Luke had a terrible car accident um, some months back and many of you stepped up um, and joined us to raise money to, to help get them back on their feet. And I can tell you, you made a difference. So, you know, take a round of applause on that because uh, you deserve it. Yeah, that feels nice. This one might be a little more efficient than the SE1. Um, I think this is my third time using it. And I'm sort of getting the feeling that initially I didn't think so, but now I'm thinking it just might be a little more efficient, perhaps a little more aggressive than the SE1. Um, I could be wrong on that, but it's sort of what I'm feeling here. And uh, that will be uh, appreciated by some who want a little more aggression though. If I'm wrong, I'm sure Stan can correct me, but I believe I'm feeling a little more efficiency. Still very nice, however. And uh, really, you can't go wrong with above the tie. And the reason I say that is he has that unconditional guarantee. If you don't like this one, you know, you can send it back and he'll trade it out for something else until you find something you like. And he's about the only one that I know does that. I mean, tremendous customer service. He believes in his product to such a degree that, hey, he's like, hey, if you don't like it, we'll, we'll find you something you do like. And it's kind of hard to argue or find fault with that sort of customer service. The soap, by the way, is magnificent. Wonderful scent, great slickness, cushion glide, great stuff. All right, we'll be right back for pass two. 
All right, so let's see how we do. Pass two again. The soap is wonderful. Very, very happy. Hallows went on sale last night if you hadn't pre ordered it from Barrister and Man if you're interested, and it's still up there. Um, give it a shot. I've tried it before, and you know, I was kind of it's one of those things with Barrister and Man where I didn't know what part of me liked it, part of me did not. It's been a couple of years, I decided I would try it again. Sometimes my taste changes, we shall see. But uh, it's up there. If you want to buy it, I, I would imagine there's still some left. But if not, there's only <laughs> next year. Or I think some are going to retailers, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll see. Anyhow, we'll go a little bit less thick for past two here. Still nice lather, great scent. Nothing to complain about. Of course, really, most of us don't have a lot to complain about. You know who has problems? Like when Luke got in that car, that uh, terrible car accident. That was, you know, a problem. Us arguing about, um, you know, shame gear. It's kind of, you know, what they call first world problems. It's it's kind of silly to tell you the truth, but we do it. Um, and what I find that happens a lot is people argue over the opinions. Of others and they get personal about it you know and uh, to me if you're making an opinion about a product or you decide not to use a product that's entirely within your uh, right to do so if you don't like a product you know you can come out and make a video and say so but when you get personal you know that's where the problem comes in and I find that um, People tend to get starstruck, lack of a better term, with these brands and like they they get to such a place that they can't tolerate any negative opinion of that brand. Because I think David Gonzalez said it, they become zealots for that brand. And so anyone who doesn't like that brand or doesn't do business with them or whatever the case may be, they go on the attack and I'm like... It's crazy. You don't really see that with um, many other things. For example, in razor and brush, we've had three threads on the debates. We had like a running uh, live debate of the debate in the three debates. And no one got out of hand. No one got personal with one another. People gave their comments about the candidates and they left those opinions, you know, um, <clears throat> Uh, they, they, well, let me rephrase that. They limited their responses to the candidates, not the other people who were making um, points. And that's, that's really the way things should be done. If you don't like an argument or opinion, deconstruct the opinion. Don't attack the person. But too often in wet shaving, we attack the person and it's usually usually coming from a brand zealot of some sort and the reason i mentioned that debate because they always say don't debate religion or politics because it gets too nasty people can't handle it people can't conduct themselves as adults but we've proven on three three about debates in one of the most controversial and nasty elections that people can really give their opinion without attack, attacking each other sadly this doesn't appear to be the case with wet shaving products. Stand by, we'll come back for past three. So I've always said, you know, if your opinion is in this hobby, if it's about a product, and even if it's negative, um, you know, you ought to be able to voice that concern. Now you should do it in a tactful way as much as possible. And I realize the definition of tactful varies from one to another. But, you know, when you're talking about a product and uh, like this one, which is good, um, <clears throat> you know, or let's not use this one because it is good. Um, something you really don't like and you say it's a pile of crap and the, um, the owner's a pile of crap, you know, that goes too far. But if you say, you know, it just didn't work for me. I didn't like the scent. I didn't like the performance. That's fair. That's fair. Or if it includes, you know, I don't like the way they do business. That's fair. But when you make it personal, that's when it goes over the line and too, too often, in this hobby, it goes personal. And I'm not sure why, to tell you the truth. 
because there's so much good stuff that um, there's a lot to talk positively about. And you can talk about the brands you really like. Like if I, if I get a product that doesn't work for me, I'll say it, you know. But after that's done, I move on to something else. Or if I stop using a brand or a product, I just stop using it and it's done. Um, there's no need to go back and revisit and, you know, pound it into the ground. Um, the only time those things come up are when other people bring them up, which is all the time. And it's like, let it go. If you like it, use it. Like Soap Commander here. First of all, there's nothing not to like. Great people, great products, great prices. Uh, I didn't get the price on this, but uh, it's less than... Uh, $3 an ounce. Two something, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Great price. Anyhow, nothing not to like about this, but let's assume there was. Um, you know, you can you can limit your comments to the product and not Darren um, and Carrie or the people who use it, you know. Or if you're a fan of, say, Soap Commander and you don't like it, or excuse me, if you're a if you're a fan of Soap Commander and you see someone who says, you know what, I didn't get a really good, great shave from it. I didn't think it did well. You don't need to come out and attack that person. They're just giving their opinion. That's all. You know, it's okay. There can be dissent in this hobby, and should be. But it goes off the rails when it gets to individuals. That's always been the case. When you start talking about people, that's when it goes off the rails. So I encourage you not to do that. Stick to the products and uh, leave it at that. And try not to get swept up in the, you know, vendor zealotry where you're combating everybody who doesn't like a brand. It's okay for them not to like the brand. It's not a personal affront to you. And some of you are friends with the vendors, and I'm friends with a few. But I don't go out and go on the offensive every time somebody doesn't like uh, a brand that I like or somebody that, somebody that I like personally. It's just, there's no reason to do that. They have their opinion. All right, let's come back for the post. Stay tuned. All right, so we're back, and uh, we will proceed with our Thayer's. It's magic because it's made by witches, of course. And uh, there was a, a um, I had mentioned the other day that some Thayer's, like the unscented version I have, doesn't feel as slick as you're putting it on, but like peach and cucumber does. And then there was an ensuing, uh, there there were ensuing comments about whether or not it's it's an astringent, of course it is, whether it has alcohol or not. Uh, but anyway, just wanted to touch on that. Again, great stuff, and of course, magic because it's made by witches and today I'm going to do something that I rarely do because uh, when I bought the Sub Commander Honor they included a bomb. I personally do not like bombs. Um, don't need them. Don't really want them but because this smells so nice I'm going to go ahead and use it and I will say if I did use bombs I would use Sub Commander. Uh, I have bought a couple of them and they are very very good. Um, so anyway the thing I don't like about bombs is um, sometimes they're a little greasy. I don't find that to be the case with Soap Commander. It goes on and, you know, and it dries and you don't have a bunch of grease all over your face, which I really do not like at all. I don't like grease or oil on my face. My uh, face naturally, got a little around my eye there. Um, my face naturally produces enough oil as it is. That does feel very nice on the skin and it does smell nice. And in a moment, I'm gonna go ahead and slap an aftershave uh, on top of that. Now there'll be lots of people go, you shouldn't put your aftershave on after the bomb. Makes no difference. Do whatever you want to. Um, obviously if your aftershave has alcohol and it doesn't have a lot of uh, nourishing ingredients, it might cut some of the effect of the bomb. But in my case, I'm not really using the bomb for skin softening and all the rest. Um, I'm just using it because it's there, so I don't really care if it sort of cuts through some of that 
skin softening due to the alcohol. And I'm using a Razor Rock American Barbershop, which is beautiful and well priced, in my opinion. Anyway, do whatever you want to do with respect to order. If you use a bomb and a and an aftershave, you know. Oh, that's beautiful. There will be a, a thousand people tell you you should do it one way or the other. The only right way is your way and the way that works best for you. So if you don't care about one part of that situation or the other, just do whatever you want. It's no big deal. You know, we don't have to always do what everyone else does. That's sort of my opinion. So we've had a beautiful shave. Let me give my final thoughts on the above the top S2 before I send it back. I believe after having used this third, three times, not enough time to really evaluate it thoroughly. Let's just get that on the table. This appears to me to be a little more aggressive and perhaps for me, not quite as smooth as the S1. I prefer the S1 out of the two, but I think some people are going to prefer this one because it does feel a little more aggressive to me. I could be wrong on that. You might get it and go, he's full of crap. I don't know, but this to me feels a little more aggressive. I prefer the S1. However, I think this is really, really nice too. And uh, again, above the tie SE2 available now. Go check it out if you want an open comb, um, top of the line, single edge artist club style razor. Okay, quick review. The uh, Soap Commander Honor is beautiful, beautiful stuff. I'd knock the scent strength down to about five, right at medium. Um, but man, it's beautiful. And if you like barbershop, this is one you'll want in your den, in my opinion. The bomb's really, really nice. I'm not a bomb guy, but if you um, if you like bombs, I do encourage you to try Sub Commander because uh, of the bombs I've tried, it is the best for me. And last but not least, the beautiful American Barbershop by Razor Rock. Don't ignore this aftershave if you like barbershop scents because it is beautiful. Trust me on that. All right, guys, thanks, and I hope you have a wonderful Saturday today. And until next time, let's get America shaving again. Please, let's do it.